Welcome to the installation video for CA Irwin Data Modeler R8. In this video we will cover the installation process for Irwin Data Modeler R8 and how that process differs from that of previous versions such as Irwin Data Modeler R7. The first thing I'd like to cover is a very important point and that is that R8 is an entirely new application. From the perspective of the installer, it has no relation at all to any previous versions of Erwin Data Modeler, Model Manager, and so forth. Erwin Data Modeler R8 is installed to its own unique folder. Under Program File CA, you will see there's a separate folder for Erwin Data Modeler R8. Also, Erwin Data Modeler R8 has its own entry in the Start menu. Again, you'll see CA Erwin, Erwin Data Modeler R8. And in the Add Remove Programs dialog, you will see that Erwin Data Modeler R8 has its own entry there as well. As a result, you can install Erwin R8 without any concern for any previous versions of Erwin Data Modeler or Model Manager that might already exist on your machine. Erwin Data Modeler R8 will coexist and run side by side with any previous versions. Because Erwin Data Modeler R8 is a new application, it requires its own unique license. And in fact, with R8, licensing has taken on a new perspective. We'll touch on that a bit later, but for detailed information, you should refer to the documentation specific to that topic. Note, if you have an existing installation of Erwin Data Modeler R7.3 with the bundled installation of Crystal Reports, you should install your R8 data modeler application prior to removing R73. If you were to remove R73 first, you will also uninstall your installation of Crystal Reports, which you would then have to install at a later time. Another important change with Erwin Data Modeler R8 is that it now includes in one application features and functions that previously required multiple applications and multiple installations. A single Erwin Data Modeler R8 installation has the potential to function as either a trial or community edition, as the full standard Erwin Data Modeler, as Model Navigator, or even as Erwin Model Manager. So after R8 has been installed on a machine, the actual applications available on that machine and the functions available are controlled strictly through licensing. For example, you could have two machines with identical installations of Erwin R8. However, the available functions and the available applications on each machine could be entirely different based on how the license is available on those machines. An important feature, an important change with Erwin Data Modeler R8 is that Erwin Model Manager is no longer a separate application. So once you've installed Erwin Data Modeler R8, you've effectively installed Model Manager as well. There is no separate installation for Erwin Model Manager. The Model Manager functionality is controlled through licensing. Machines that have a special initializer license will have the ability to perform all of the model manager administrative functions, including initializing a MART, creating a MART, and those things that previously required a separate installation. Okay, let's run the install. Just a couple of last minute items before we get started. First, in order to install Erwin Data Modeler, the logged in user must have full administrative privileges. 
If the Erwin user does not have sufficient privileges, one option is to use the Run As function available in Windows and invoke the installation with the administrative account. The other thing is you need to make sure that the PC meets the minimum requirements for drive space, memory, performance, and so forth. And those items are detailed in the Getting Started Guide. Now, the Erwin installation package is available in a variety of forms, uh, predominantly in executable, which is downloaded from the CA support website, but it is also available in a DVD. If you're using a DVD and have auto run enabled, all you have to do is put the DVD in your PC and the installation process will be invoked. If you don't, you simply have to locate the setup executable for the Erwin Data Modeler R8 installation and invoke that to begin the installation process. When the installation begins, you'll first see a splash screen. After a few initialization dialogues, you'll be presented with the End Users License Agreement, or EULA. Just read the license agreement then after you scroll to the bottom of the dialog, the I Agree button will be enabled. In order to continue, you will have to click on the I Agree button to accept the end user's license agreement. Once you do that, you will be presented with the screen to enter your username and the name of your organization. And then you will have the opportunity to select your installation folder. If you'd like to change it from the default, you simply click the Change button and choose which folder you would like Erwin Data Modeler to be installed to. By default, as we mentioned, it is installed to, under Program Files, CA Erwin Data Modeler R8. The next dialog is the Custom Setup. By default, all of the options will be installed with the exception of CA Erwin Model Navigator. Now choosing the Navigator option will install shortcuts for CA Erwin Model Navigator and those shortcuts will enable you to launch Erwin Data Modeler in a read-only mode. Now if you are a Navigator user and your machine is not to be licensed for Erwin Data Modeler you must go in and change this option and select it so that it is installed on your machine. You do that by clicking on the Navigator option and clicking this feature will be installed on the local drive. You will then see that it is selected and you can continue with the installation. After choosing your installation options, just click Install to begin the process of copying files to your machine. The actual installation process will continue for a few minutes, during which you will see some progress dialogues indicating the status of the installation. And after that, you'll see a dialog indicating that the installation has completed. At this point, just click Finish, and you're done. Okay, the installation is complete. But there are a couple of items I'd like to go over before we conclude. The Erwin R8 installation includes a limited temporary license for Erwin Data Modeler. This will allow you to use Erwin Data Modeler immediately after you've installed it, although in a temporary limited fashion. If you already have a license for R8, you can use it now to unlock the full potential of your application. If you've not yet obtained your permanent license, you can do so by contacting CA Licensing Support through the CA Support website. You can reach the CA Technical Support website by typing support.ca.com in the address bar of your web browser. Through this site, you can find support information for all CA applications, including support and licensing information for CA Erwin Data Modeler. Another great way to find technical information is the Erwin R8 application itself. The Help menu on the Erwin R8 toolbar includes links to several resources for Erwin technical information. So while using Erwin Data Modeler R8, answers to many questions are only a click away. Note, 
you will have to register to access casupport.com. Some features, including the ability to download the latest Erwin application, will also require that you have an active maintenance contract. Finally, I'd like to mention a few technical items. For those interested in silent installs, the Erwin Data Modeler R8 installation does support that. It is what's known as a basic MSI package, which means it uses a standard Microsoft installer, and it will support any command line arguments that are recognized by the Microsoft installer. It, so it can be installed silently using the standard MSI command line parameters. And more details on that are available in the uh, Erwin Data Modeler Implementation Guide or through Microsoft in their MSI documentation. This concludes the presentation on installing CA Erwin Data Modeler R8. Thank you for watching.